Hey everyone, welcome to my 247 days to grade 9 challenge. I'll be completing as many AQA level 2 further maths questions as possible before the June 2026 exams. Follow along and let's hit that grade 9 together. So in the first question, we are told that 3x minus 7 is a factor of 3x cubed minus 4x squared minus 13x plus 14. Work out the other two linear factors. So what we need to do for this question is simply use long division. So I'm going to divide the cubic expression by the linear expression. So I'll write this out as 3x minus 7 into our cubic expression, which is 3x cubed minus 4x squared minus 13x plus 14. And so 3x cubed divided by 3x gives us x squared. And then I need to multiply x squared by the two terms, 3x and minus 7. So that'll give me 3x cubed minus 7x. And so what I need to just do now is just subtract these terms. When I subtract them, it gives me 3x squared. I then need to take the minus 13x and drag it down. And so now I'm going to be dividing 3x squared by minus, sorry, by 3x. And so that will give me plus x. I multiply x by 3x minus 7. So x times 3x is going to give me 3x squared. x times minus 7 is just minus 7x. And then what I need to do is repeat the same process. So I'll subtract these terms. And so what I'm left with now is minus 6x. I'm going to drag my, uh, positive 14. Let me not say minus, positive 14 down. And then I'll divide minus 6x by 3x, which will give me minus 2. Minus 2 multiplied by 3x is minus 6x. And a minus 2 times minus 7 is positive 14. And so when we subtract these two linear expressions, that gives us 0. So the number that you are left with here represents your remainder. Now, because our remainder is 0, we know that our working is correct. Because if 3x minus 7 is a factor of this cubic expression, it means when you divide this cubic expression by this linear expression right here, your remainder must be 0. So we can actually rewrite this, our cubic expression, as 3x minus 7 multiplied by this quadratic expression, which is x squared plus x minus 2. And now what we need to just do here is factorize this quadratic expression. So technically, as a grade 9 student, there are certain quadratic expressions you should be able to identify and factor. So once I factor my quadratic expression, I'm left with x plus 2, x minus 1. So we can see that the other two linear factors are going to be x plus 2 and x minus 1.